mountain resort of Mussoorie, 400 miles north of India's capital, becomes a focal point in the growing deterioration of relations between neutralist India and Red China. Prime Minister Nehru's visit to the exiled Dalai Lama at his sanctuary here brought a clear rebuttal to the Red Chinese version of the Tibetan revolt, voiced by two of Asia's most respected and revered leaders. Nehru, in language remarkably strong for him, reproached Beiping for its charges that India had a hand in the Tibetan revolt and expressed great distress at the Reds' use of force in Tibet. The Dalai Lama, believed by millions to be the living Buddha, denied Red claims that he was held under duress. The 23-year-old God King restated his earlier denunciation of communist brutality in Tibet. The aftermath of the Tibetan revolt is a glaring exposure of the true nature of Red imperialism a major setback to the power and persuasiveness of red propaganda among the neutralist nations of Asia. Secretary of State Christian Herter enters the French Foreign Ministry to begin talks with British, French, and West German foreign ministers to establish a common ground in preparation for their coming pre-summit meeting with the Soviet Union next month in Geneva. The proceedings of this policy conference are under a rule of secrecy, but the foreign ministers are optimistic as to results.